For the 2024 MotoGP season, Honda has unveiled a brand new livery that features both the iconic orange colors of title sponsor Repsol and its own corporate paint scheme on the bike. When Repsol and Honda originally teamed up in 1995, their iconic orange colors became one of the most recognizable in motorcycle racing history. As Repsol and Honda approached their 30-year anniversary of partnership, the Spanish oil giant dropped its support after Marc Marquez's move to Grissini Ducati. This indicates that Honda changed significantly its MotoGP livery for the first time in 30 years, replacing the Repsol branding on the RC213V with the red, blue and white colors of HRC. Honda launched the hybrid HRC Repsol livery at the 2024 Spec RC 213V launch event on Tuesday in Madrid, which was hosted by Repsol. Along with Honda's senior management, 2020 champion Joan Mir and Luca Marini attended the bike's Spanish launch. 2024 will be an important year for Honda as the manufacturer starts without six-time champion Marc Marquez, the rider who helped the brand achieve its modern level of success in MotoGP. With 2022 champion Mir, who joined the team last year to replace Paul Espargaro, now in charge of leading its revival, it has hired Marini from VR46 as his replacement. Honda underwent a full remodeling of the RC213V over the winter in the hope to regain its position as a frontrunner in the MotoGP. Riders like Mir, Marini and even Johan Zarco have expressed their extremely positive initial reaction to the updated bike, saying it is a step above over its predecessor. Honda is aware of the immensity of the challenge ahead of it though, as Mir admitted that the manufacturer will not be able to fully turn around its situation in time for the start of the upcoming Qatari race. Only one Honda victory took place in 2023 at the US Grand Prix in Austin, thanks to LCR rider Alex Rins. Marquez placed third at its Honda home race in Japan, giving the factory HRC team its only podium of the year. Luca Marini, the new factory Honda MotoGP rider, didn't have to think long to choose the former Repsol rider who most inspired him. My brother, obviously, it's easy. During today's Madrid team launch, Marini said, he had a great history with these colors. Before moving to Yamaha, Valentino Rossi won the MotoGP championship for Repsol Honda in 2002 and 2003. However, a Repsol champion was not Marini's second inspiration. Danny Pedrosa, who spent a lot of time working with this team, is definitely another, Marini stated. I really like him, he's a nice person, and our conversations in the test are always really fascinating. So I'll attempt to draw some inspiration from him as well. From 2006 to 2018, Pedrosa rode for Repsol Honda and won 31 races, making him the most successful Premier Class competitor not to claim the world title. In replacement of Marc Marquez, Marini will race in the new factory Honda colors for his fourth season at the Premier Class. Marini said, It's like a childhood dream. We made excellent progress in the test, therefore I'm really happy to work with this factory. Yes, there will be more work for us to do in the Qatar test, but we'll be ready for the first race. I think the upcoming season will be very interesting and long. My goal is to reach a high level by the middle of the season. I think we can get much better. I can get used to the bike better and there is a lot of margin on all the areas of the bike. According to Marini, the new colors also represent the start of a new era. It's something new since as a child, I always saw a lot of orange and the large Repsol logo. However, it also marks the beginning of an exciting new project and a new chapter in Honda's fight for dominance. HRC respects Marini's Ducati experience and he finished the first Sepang test in 19th place. Joan Mir says that since taking over Mark Marquez's technical staff at the Japanese MotoGP team, his circumstances at Honda have changed a lot. Marquez is riding a Ducati for the Grassini squad this season after leaving the Honda team he rode for his entire MotoGP career. Having climbed up from Moto2 to MotoGP, the eight-time world champion joined the Italian team without his crew chief, Santi Hernandez. Marquez and Hernandez had a close relationship and achieved great success together, winning six MotoGP titles and one in Moto2. 
However, due to Ducati's request that Marquez commit for two years when he only intended to do so for one in 2024, the rider was unable to bring the engineer to Grissini. After Marquez left, it appeared that Hernandez and his team would be overseeing Luca Marini at Honda as Marquez's replacement. The Italian had specifically asked to work on Hernandez's side of the garage. Further, Mir would have stayed with his former crew boss, Giacomo Guidotti, and his team. On the other hand, Mir asked Honda over the weekend of the season's finale race in Valencia to give him the crew that has always been related to Marquez. His decision to ask for the crew change was prompted by the fact that his contract expires at the end of 2024. During the Sepang test last week, Honda team manager Alberto Pus stated, This is something that Joan asked for, and that was done. Given that Giacomo is Italian and Santi is Spanish, we felt it made sense. We believe that riders can always communicate more directly with an experienced mechanic who speaks their language. Either side is made up of professional people who know the bike. More so, it comes down to personal affinity. Regarding his first experiences after the staff swap, Mir gave a clear response. Mir stated, A lot has changed in the situation. Santi works in a manner that I find quite comfortable. His successes speak for themselves, and he assists me in more ways than one. It is no coincidence that he has won so many world titles. I really enjoy his approach. The 2020 world champion didn't perform that well in his first season with Honda last year. He finished 22nd in the standings, with his best finish coming in 5th place in India. Honda told Ducati that the MotoGP concession system had previously helped them in returning from the wilderness. This season, Honda and Yamaha will benefit from the updated concessions regulations, while Ducati has voiced concerns over some of the more recent changes. Honda has retaliated by claiming that concessions made in previous years helped Ducati become the leading manufacturer in the MotoGP. Alberto Pus, manager of the Repsol Honda team, stated, It's a clear help. This system was not designed for us. It was made for others in the past. Therefore, we are currently benefiting from it. Of course, we'll make every effort to utilize it. It is written in the regulations. We will attempt to make use of it with the benefits, let's say the opportunities, that the regulations provide. Davide Tardozzi of Ducati said, These kinds of concessions for the two Japanese factories? They will really benefit from it when they climb back up the grid. The updated concessions regulations now place KTM and Aprilia in the middle of three stages. Compared to Ducati, they have more advantages, but not as many as Honda and Yamaha. What are your thoughts? Will Honda be back on top this season thanks to the concessions? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.